everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with another match react. And today guys, it's Manchester United 4, Istanbul 1 guys. Yes, 3 points. Yes, top of the table of the Champions League group. Yes, we are topping against PSG and also RB Leipzig. Top of the table right now, carrying 9 points. Yeah baby, yeah baby. Yeah, I'm pleased today. We all can be pleased with today's victory. Although the first half was amazing, we've done really well. Second half, mm, we kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of winded down in the first 20 to 30 minutes of that second half. But eventually, eventually, brilliant assist by Mason Greenwood to give Daniel James his first goal in a very, very long time. And my God, he's been starving. He's been starving. He's been losing weight. Now he can finally get a little bit of crumbs so he can feel a bit tart. But yes, guys, that first half, I have to say, was amazing. It was good. It was entertaining. We was on a front foot. I felt like it was the old man United for a very long time. I thought, whoa, guys, we're back. We're back. It's been a long time. I feel like we were in the, in two thousands when Ronaldo, Tevez, Rooney was playing. Those ticky tackers was happening. Anderson at his prime. You know what I'm talking about, guys. But yes, yes, that's how I felt like. But yeah, in reality, I remember. Yeah, Oli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't just fly away, lose my soul for no damn reason. Put myself back into reality. It is Oli. But yes, today, guys, I am pleased. I am pleased with today's victory. We won. We won. We played well. We played well for a good 60 to 70 minutes overall. But apart from that, Bruno, again, that 45 minutes, guys. Bruno Fernandes was amazing. It was terrific. Two goals in the first 20 minutes. Bruno, that volley, sensational. I'm very sure Paul Scholes can be happy about that. And then the goalkeeper, what a donkey, what a donkey, making a mistake with Bruno, capitalising from his mistake and making it 2-0. And then Marcus Rashford, how nice of you, Bruno. You just come out of nowhere and say, here, Rashford, I know your confidence is a bit low, but here, take the ball, score. And Rashford did that. He scored, yes, he did. Making it 3-0, Marcus Rashford. And then, of course, this will build up his confidence. Right now, it was a nice thing, nice gesture for Bruno Fernandes to do this. But Bruno Fernandes had his opportunity to score a hat-trick, but he declined it, swiftly declined it, and gave it to Marcus Rashford. He said, hey, my boy, he won the kid, the one that everyone talks about. Sir Marcus Rashford scores, steps up, and scores that penalty. And then, guys, like I said before, that 35 minutes was good. Going into that second half, there's 20 minutes to the 30 minutes. Istanbul, Bekashir. Oh, can't believe we pronounced that right today, guys. Yes, I just did that. Istanbul, Bekashir, whatever, I lost it. But yes, they came back, making it 3-1. And then at times, they were having opportunities. We were lucky at times to not concede more than one goal because Istanbul was doing well. They had good chances. But David De Gea came up, stepped up. And they done what exactly what you have to do, what he gets paid for, which is prevent goals from happening. You know what I mean, guys? But yeah, counter-attack FC as we are, best as you know it. Our only way of playing football, our route one, our goal two, counter-attacking football. With Mason Greenwood slipping in Daniel James to score a goal that boosts up his morale and his confidence. And guys, I'm happy for Daniel James because I, I always slay him. DJ, I'm always slaying him, like... I don't rate him as well, but I'm happy to see him shine. That just shows that I'm not a hater. I want to see you do well. But if you're crap and you're rubbish, I will criticize you because you deserve it. No one is innocent. Anyone can get it. Even a baby can get it, bro. With me, I don't play games. But guys, overall, I'm happy for the win. I'm happy that we've got this win. Now we go, can go into the weekend thinking, hopefully we've gathered up some confidence some momentum. It was a good way of playing, but I know Oli's going to go back to playing defensive football in the Premier League because that's what he does best. Because, again, route one, counter-attack football is what we do best. And I'm just pleased. I'm pleased that we've won. Guys, you can be happy. We all can. It's, it's a good win. It sets us up for one more, let's just say, another point or two against PSG or RB Leipzig. We go through. We go through, guys, and apart from that, what can you say? We it's been a d 
decent campaign, a good campaign in the Champions League if we can finish off in the top two. Because then we never thought that we would finish off in the top two. If we all, all thought that we was in a group of death, and then we didn't really at that moment that we didn't really sign that much players. But now that we've got these boys, hopefully eventually Oli either leaves or steps up his coaching and gets the best out of these guys because I, I believe we've got a decent team we've got a good team to go forward in the Champions League and also go forward in the Premier League but it's just that it's the setup at this present moment it's just not it's not it it's not it but I'm hoping that it will change I'm hopeful my man in the match Donny van der Beek although it could have easily been Bruno Fernandes with his two goals and also his I would say half assist because he gave the ball to uh, Mark's referee to take a say Here's my assist. But yes, the assist maker. Donny van der Beek today, extraordinarily just brilliant in that midfield. Tick, making things tick. Getting the ball coming, coming short, getting the ball, spreading it long. Doing everything to make things happen from the midfield. Today he played in the six. He done really well. Everything from midfield was just brilliant. Spectacular, running smoothly like a Rolls Royce in that midfield. Thank you, Donny van der Beek. But I know that our manager won't be picking you for the Premier League match and you still be sitting there wondering, how am I not starting ahead of people like McTominay, Matic, or people like Juan Mata? Don't give the match. It has to go to Istanbul's goalkeeper. What a donut. What a donut. Love your sister. Love it. And guys, just enjoy today. Enjoy your night. And just just enjoy the victory, because again, up and down turbulent season, you know, it's just going up like a roller coaster, going down like a roller coaster. We'll, we'll be playing whoever we're playing in the weekend. I, I cannot remember right now. I'm too tired right now. But apart from that, just enjoy this this win, and uh, hopefully in the next game we do well. And Oli pulls a miracle again. Pulls a miracle. That's what we want. A miracle. Not playing defensive football and playing attacking offensive football. And guys, thank you. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share. Also remember to follow the Red United official account, which is Red United TV One, and also my Instagram account, which, which is Ivorian underscore Spice, and also the same for Twitter and Snapchat, guys. Remember, guys, as always, keep it united, and remember to keep it Red United. Peace out.